Hello and welcome. Today is my 12 month update using LED red light therapy for anti-aging benefits. I think you're really gonna enjoy today's video. My video is one of a handful of videos that have done a full year in review of LED red light therapy and the results. I'm gonna share with before and after photos at zero and 12 months, as well as some progress photos that I took at three, six and nine months. I'm gonna talk a little bit about how LED works to provide anti-aging benefits, the theory behind LED red light therapy, and go into a little bit of a deep dive into my results, kind of why I think I got the results or didn't get the results that I anticipated, and finally give you my recommendation. Is this worth your time, effort, and money? As well as share with you several devices that you might consider purchasing if you're interested in trying LED red light therapy. Definitely don't forget to watch the end screen because my my son and I are going to share some bloopers of a video that we are making on his experience with the men's Omnilux mask at 30 days, 90 days, and six months. How does LED red light work to provide anti-aging benefits? It works via photobiomodulation, which is just a big fancy word for meaning that it takes light energy and converts it into biological activities, in this case, in our skin. It's heatless, it's painless, and it claims to improve the look of fine lines, reduce pigmentation, and also reduce inflammation. What are the actual biological responses that happen when you introduce near-infrared and red light therapy to the skin? Number one, ATP production, which I'm sure you've heard a lot about, but there are two other responses that happen that I think are very interesting and supported in the literature, as well as ATP production hormesis and macrophage response. So let's talk a little bit about ATP production first. When red light therapy is introduced into the skin, it turns on our mitochondria. The mitochondria is responsible for producing ATP, the energy of our cells. ATP is adenosine triphosphate. It does this by increasing the amount of oxygen so that the cell is more easily able to produce ATP. But the second thing that happens is hormesis, means that it upregulates all the function of the cell and gives the face a tune-up or a workout. Similar to if you're lifting weights, you repeatedly gain the ability to lift more weight. Your body's response to NIR and red light is very similar. Your body is also responding to the photons being delivered by the red light and the near-infrared light. The photons hit the skin and are either excitatory or inhibitory to receptors in the skin. This is what's called photobiomodulation. For example, if the photons are hitting fibroblasts, then they will excite the fibroblasts to create more collagen and elastin. The last thing is that it increases the macrophage response, which is helpful for inflammation. Macrophages attack pathogens, and what this actually does is convert M1 macrophages to M2 macrophages. M2 macrophages help reduce inflammation, and they also promote healing. The form of LED red light therapy that I chose to use are LED red light masks. I used the current body mask at the very beginning and then switched over to the Omnilux mask. Both of these provide the correct dose at the near-infrared and infrared levels, so I felt comfortable using each of these interchangeably. I did stick to the Omnilux mask and also use their neck and decollete mask. So I'll be doing a review on my neck and deck rejuvenation a little bit later in the year, but I chose to use the masks, number one, because they both give the correct dose for the anti-aging benefits that we're looking for. They're both super convenient and portable. I also wanted to point out the difference in these two masks. The current body mask is a little bit smaller. It has fewer diodes, but it's smaller. So if you have a smaller face, you might prefer the current body mask. If you have a slightly larger face, then you might prefer this. This does have more diodes, but in my personal opinion, they're slightly interchangeable because they have the correct dose, even though the Omnilux mask has more LED red light bulbs it doesn't necessarily mean that you're getting a different dose because it's a little larger. And if you have a larger face, it kind of goes around the side and definitely gets the side of your face and part of, part of your ear. Also, you can use handheld devices. These are two produced by MySama Skincare. Handheld devices have a somewhat challenging ability to give you the correct dose because you're constantly moving the device. I also find them less convenient. But here's something I recently thought about only because you guys brought it up. These masks do not have 
an LED bulb over the cupid's bow. And a lot of us are trying to address lines in our upper lip area. So you may want to do an adjunct handheld device to address the upper lip area. If you've watched my video on my anti-aging journey, you know that the lines above my lip are one of my bugbears. So those are a few devices that you can choose, handheld, masks. There also are panels. The key to using any of these home devices is consistency, consistency, consistency. One other thing I wanna mention, I did use this as directed. And if you do have contraindications, be sure to read the packaging, talk to your doctor. There are some medical conditions where red light therapy is not appropriate. So as always, if you're using a home device, definitely check with your provider before you start using it. I also, as an adjunct, have been using the Mysama Green Robust Tea this whole year. This is the type of green tea that has collagen boosting and antioxidant protection. When you use red light therapy, there are some free radicals that are formed and this just helps protect your skin. And there's actually a small study that shows this actually boosts the results. I'll leave the video that I did on that study up above and you can go check that out. I personally would never use my red light therapy without the Mysama green tea. The first thing you'll notice in my pictures is day one, I have a lot of redness and ruddiness to my skin. By month three of continual use of LED, this is significantly improved. You'll notice the redness creeps up occasionally in my progress photos, but it's not as bad as it was at the very beginning. I did experience quite a few bouts of redness and inflammation throughout the year this year. I've really struggled with it, but I do notice in my one-off sessions using red light therapy, my redness and irritation would immediately subside. So in addition to calming it over time, a one-off session of about 10 minutes significantly reduced the redness that I had. I had flushing, I had irritation in my skin this year, I'm not sure what was going on, but the red light therapy would definitely calm it down even in a one-off 10-minute session. What's really important about this is that reducing inflammation in the moment helps with overall skin health. Prolonged inflammation is counteractive to the health of our skin and of course the health of our body. The second thing I think you're gonna notice right away in comparing my zero to 12 month photos is my pigmentation is under control. Now, pigmentation takes a village. I did use topicals during this time, but for the most part, it was just LED red light therapy and over-the-counter topicals. I did not use any hydroquinone during this time. I have used it in the past. I've also had laser in the past. If you're curious about my laser journey, I'll link a video up above. And I also have had IPL treatments in the past. But during this 12-month period, I didn't use any of those prescription or in-office treatments. I just used at-home topicals and my LED red light therapy mask. Let's address fine lines and wrinkles because LED is purported to help with fine lines and wrinkles. So I'm going to put up the five panel picture from zero to 12 months. So take a look at that. I'll kind of zoom in a little bit so you can get a closer look. And then I'm gonna put up my zero to 12 months and we'll kind of do a comparison and contrasting. As you look at the five panel picture, personally, I think the LED had the least effect on my fine lines. But also in my opinion, my fine lines aren't fine lines. They're fairly etched deep wrinkles especially in my forehead area and along my crow's feet, they are more than just fine lines. And my nasolabial folds, that is due to fat pad loss, loss of elastin and collagen, sinking of my face, which happens to all of us as we age. I honestly don't think there's any way that LED can address nasolabial folds because that is drooping skin. The only thing that's going to help that is surgery. 
And the only thing that's going to probably help my deeper fine lines and furrows above my eyes, my brow, and my crow's feet is a bit of neurotoxin. The bottom line, do I recommend LED red light therapy for anti-aging benefits? Yes, I do for multiple reasons. First and foremost, there's a large body of research around the skin health benefits of LED red light and near infrared light. Number two, it's heatless. It's painless. Number four, it's convenient. Number five, it's portable. And number six, most importantly for me, it's helping control my inflammation. Inflammation causes the blood vessels in our skin to expand and increase those little red lines, little veins that you get in your face. So I have found the most benefit from helping with my inflammation. And inflammation just causes ruddiness to your skin, which causes sort of the look of aged skin. It also helps improve my skin tone ever so slightly. It works in conjunction with the topicals that I'm using. So how do you choose an LED device? Number one, I recommend a panel if you have the patience and time to sit in front of it and you're using your eye protection because you can also use that in other parts of your body. I prefer the mask because you can actually apply them to other parts of your body, but for me, it's really all about convenience. If you don't use these devices consistently, they're just not gonna work. And the masks are the easiest for me to use. I can use them while I'm making coffee. They're just easy to travel with. They're portable. I can actually drink my coffee with the Omnilux mask. So for me, the masks were the best solution. By the talk? We might have to answer a question. I know, there's no script for ad-libbing. I do like... Uh, sure. <laughs> he's, he's my guinea pig child. That's a mouthful. I know, I know. <laughs> Our faces are thicker. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the men's mask. Agree to it. We're going to try a six month trial. So this strap goes around the top of the bar. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seriously. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and gotten a lot of benefit out of this. Definitely leave me a comment below and wishing you a fantastic day.